Oh my gosh, guys, we've been having such a great day down here at the Lone Star Flight Museum. And you know, last year, 2020, it actually marked 75 years since the end of World War II. So you know what that means. We have fewer and fewer World War II veterans as the years go by. But this particular exhibit is really cool. It's called Fight to the Finish, and it really documents the last year leading up to the end of the war. And I want to introduce you to someone I guarantee you I will never forget. I hope you will never forget him as well. His name is Ed or Edward Cleric. Correct. 98 years old, folks. He just celebrated a birthday on April 8th. And you have such an incredible story because you are from Gal Galveston. Correct. And tell us about what happened to you back during World War II. You were on your 18th bombing mission flying over Munich, I believe. Correct. <clears throat> well, we got uh, struck very severely by flak just before we reached the target, lost two engines, causing us to spiral and spin down out of the formation. And uh, by the time we recovered it, we were three or 4,000 feet, dropped our bombs, headed back. A, P uh, a German uh, Fock Wolf picked us up because we had no support. And I don't know what was wrong with the guy. It must have been real inaccurate, but he shot us up and uh, it was just uh, amazing we got away from him. So uh, as we progressed on, it, uh, it continued to get worse. We ran across the German front line and got back into real heavy flak again, uh, wounding uh, the other pilot, our bombardier, and our tail gunner. And the bombardier uh, survived the the mission, but he died shortly thereafter mm. as a result of his wounds. Well, and it's incredible that you survived your wounds. You didn't realize in all the chaos that you actually had been hit I as well. I realized I'd been hit, but I didn't realize it was severe because when it hit me, of course, it hurt like hell, and I grabbed my throat, and I thought I was dead, you know. Mm. But, but then the pain subsided, and I was able to continue flying the airplane. It's an incredible story, and it's so frustrating that on live TV, we have a lifetime of stories right. we want to condense down. This display case has several of your awards that you received while in the service, and I want to show our viewers, I want to be sure that they see the jacket and the scarf you were wearing, Ed, when you were hit. So the holes that we're seeing in that scarf and in that jacket, those are the result of being hit that day you were flying the aircraft. Yes, sir. And it's incredible that you know, the holes actually start from the inside and come out where you see the, the red patch. And it's uh, and my scarf was just shredded from the from the flak. Just by the grace of God, have you ever seen a throat mic? Yes. That was actually cut off. So literally, I mean, by millimeters, you survived. Absolutely, just by the grace of God. We have about a minute left. You have such an incredible story of survival, an incredible story of service. And I do want to let our viewers know about something that is really, really cool that's been happening. First of all, part of our World War II veteran community, you have remained active at the ripe old age of 98 years old. And on June 19th, down here at the Lone Star Flight Museum at 10 a.m., you're going to get back in a B-17 bomber for the first time since the war ended. Correct. How are you feeling about that? It's a, a, on my bucket list. It's on your bucket list. Well, listen, that Purple Heart Award, that's a bucket list item as well. It seems like you have had a life full lived Ed Cleric, World War II veteran, 98 years old. We got to leave it there for now, but I'm going to see you again real soon. Hopefully. All right, coming to you live from the Lone Star Flight Museum. You got to come down. Memorial Day weekend is a great time to come down and pay respect to the folks just like Ed Cleric who have a lifetime of service to be proud of. Thanks so much again. Thank you. We'll be right back.